Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Today is going to be such a fun and dare I say a trippy island tour because we are touring the psychedelic wonderland of the island Wake and Bake. I'm really, really excited for this tour. The pictures of it look so cool. There's gonna be tons of neon, lots of fun, very eclectic designs. So if you guys like island tours like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. This island is by none other than Angela, also known as Mushlamp on Instagram. Here is this map. Look at this lineup, you guys. First off, her character is so fun and so cute with the purple skin and the green hair. And then these villagers, so colorful, so eclectic. We have Fuchsia, we have Chester, Mary, Marshall, then we have Jitters, which I mean, come on, for this kind of island, absolutely perfect. Then we have Bob, Willow, Peaches, Tabby, and Hopper. Again, his red eyes, I mean, you, come on, it's just way too perfect. And you guys, this flag is so perfect and so fun the way that it was designed. Now, I will say, Rob or Katie usually picks up presents on screen, but they were right outside of resident services, so prior to filming and when I woke up, I went ahead and grabbed them. And as I am opening these, I do want to give the disclaimer. You might have noticed that I hid the dream address on the screen when the map was up there just now. Um, if you want to visit this island, simply go to Angela's Instagram. Everything is going to be linked in the description box and you can find the dream address there. But with that, I want to give a disclaimer that this island is going to have some, hmm, I guess I'll say recreational paraphernalia <laughs> references. So if that's not your vibe, totally understandable, uh, then this island is not for you. But you know what, the designs are amazing and I'm excited to look around and I think it's gonna be really, really fun. But I did just wanna give you guys a heads up on that front in case uh, in case that's not your vibe. You know, it's not for everyone and that is totally understandable. Do I wanna hold the balloon? I think the light stick. Yeah, and then of course, if you know, you know. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this entrance are you kidding me so it's so trippy right off of the bat look at this path too are you kidding oh my gosh if this is not giving you some serious lisa frank kind of vibes then i don't know what is i whenever i was younger used to draw these aliens the little lisa frank looking aliens all of the time in my school notebooks and stuff so I'm having a lot of nostalgia right now, but what a cool path and entrance and how creepy with these eyeball hats. So good. So, so good. Loving the neon already. It's just so much fun. And we're already at the front house, I guess. So let's go ahead and go on in because I do know the house interiors are complete. So let's just, uh, let's dive right on in right here. What? You are kidding me. <laughs> Look at this. Fro oh my God. Did y'all know this floor did that whenever you reached the middle? Are you kidding me? Wow. Now, I would like to say, I live in the state of California, so there are some incredibly legal recreational activities that I do partake in here. I did not before I toured this dream address so I could be coherent for the video, but you best bet I'm gonna visit again. <laughs> that is crazy, I wanna see this one more time. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it again? No, maybe not. Maybe you have to walk out and walk in, but that was crazy. Okay, maybe it's a one-time thing. I digress, that was amazing. Let's go to the left room first. <gasps> Whoa, are you kidding? Okay, these codes, so wild, oh my gosh the wallpaper and the flooring and the flooring is slightly different of course with the lines going over these super trippy faces wow and who would have thought that the bunny day tree 
could be this effective in in any island build truly what what a crazy room it, it feels like i'm getting funhouse type of vibes from this entire home and i absolutely cannot wait to see what is in the other one two three four four rooms oh <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not the Plaza inflatable toy. Oh my goodness. Also, I have never noticed that this item has a little weight here, just bearing it down, but that is too funny. <laughs> and again, these, these codes are amazing. I know that they are not going to be for everyone again. And if it's not your cup of tea, that's it's not your cup of tea. Some people don't like cottage core. Some people don't like, you know, very elegant islands. And uh, you know what? I like them all. This one included. <laughs> These rooms are so ridiculous, but I love it. <laughs> and now let's go to this little room over here on the right. Whoa, okay, this is cool. What? This, it kind of reminds me of those floating sound, not sound baths, but um, oh, what are they called? Like the weightless baths that you can go in? This is a cool room. Oh my gosh. Again with the aliens, I'm obsessed. How cool. And if you guys notice, these are the same codes that are a part of that larger path that we saw outside. So they're being used in a multitude of ways, which is super unique. All right, upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. I can't get over that froggy chair shrine. <laughs> Amazing. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna be saying whoa probably all the time on this island door. This is so cool. Definitely this island is giving me Alice in Wonderland kind of vibes. Obviously. Wow. And you know what? This is the first time this uh, little entryway, the white tile, I actually like, you know, unless it's a hospital or something very sterile, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I actually really like it for that room in particular. <gasps> what? It's like a gyroid dance party down here. Oh my goodness. How perfect. And I did just the other day tour an island that had gyroids everywhere. So I'm having flashbacks to that. But this is so cool. What is this floor? A spaceship? Also, you guys, full disclaimer, I have had three cups of coffee today, which is not typical for me. Usually I have one, maybe two. And uh, you know what? Caffeine is a drug all in its own right. So... If I seem a little crazy, just know that's why. <laughs> what an awesome house. Oh my gosh, that is so good. All right, where to go? I think we're gonna go to the left. Let's follow this incline. <gasps> oh, I have seen pictures of this. This is like meant to be a melting land bridge how trippy is this you know what this reminds me of those images that you would hold really close to your face and then you would slowly pull them away and you're supposed to see something pop out in 3d and really you just like go completely cross-eyed this is so wild oh my gosh yeah we have to get out look at how absolutely crazy this is Everything from the gears to, of course, the teacups back there. Oh, and this is so wild. Wee. I really feel like I'm at some kind of rave. This is awesome. 
<gasps> what? Oh. Oh. Okay, we are nailing the trippy element. 10 out of 10 on trippiness. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. So Angela does have a custom map and I'm following along to see what these areas are labeled. And this is house in the sky. I mean, how absolutely perfect is that? Especially with the Mario blocks too, how everything is floating. And then you have the Mario block custom codes. It really looks like we're about to fall out of nowhere. What? That is so crazy. I swear. I don't know how people think of the most creative ways to execute their ideas with an Animal Crossing, but they somehow do it and it is the coolest thing in the world. Okay, let's go back down through this awesome land bridge. I'm obsessed. So crazy. And I want to go, uh, let's go to the left. I love this blue and green path in the melting clocks. I can't. So cool. Let's go over here, which looks to be like a super trippy forest. Oh, is that a Furby? Are you kidding me? Furby alert, Furby alert. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite design. Easy, easy, easy. So cool. This is a cool path too. Oh my gosh, so many great codes. And our little bunny day friend here. Might I just say, if any island is appropriate to have this creepy little fella, it's this one. Definitely this one. And here we have these, the giant <laughs> plaza inflatables yet again on the beach. I know only a couple of the beaches are complete, but of course we have to see. I don't know if we can get all the way through, but <laughs> look at this. Are you joking? How fun. It's just like, yep, get through the coins. Get through the coins. <laughs> oh, oh, they're popping back up. Wait. <laughs> okay, this is so much fun and so ridiculous. But honestly, it's islands just like this one that have little details like that. Well, I guess that's a big detail, not really a little one. And it, it just reminds you that this game is meant to be fun and goofy or it can be whatever you want it to be if you want it to be beautiful and elegant and aesthetic that's awesome or you can put furbies on your island like i said three cups of coffee you guys don't judge me and through the forest we go so many beautiful flowers of course love it can i skip through Oh, I can. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Don't mind me, you guys. Just uh, getting lost as per usual. But I feel like of all the islands to get lost on, you know, it feels pretty fitting that this would be it. Bing. Whoa, little tea party, of course, happening over here. And then we have more beaches decorated back there, it looks like. Loving all of the rabbits too. Definitely, uh, at least in my mind, is alluding to the rabbit again in Alice in Wonderland. Maybe not. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, Rainbow Beach. Now this is just so pretty right here. Oh, there she is. Gotta say hi. Hello. You have a billion eyeballs on your head, my friend. Is that uh, how you look or am I just, am I seeing things? Okay, let's go back to this incline. These plaza inflatables. <laughs> oh, I'm just getting a kick out of it. Okay. And here we go to an area that Angela calls a fever dream carnival. <laughs> Look at all of the bubbles and confetti. Whoa. And it helps too that we are in cherry blossom season during this island. So there's just stuff flying everywhere. This is so cool. Again, totally giving me like fun house 
kind of vibes. Love that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, is this like a concert? Oh my gosh. We are officially raving. Whoa. This is how you make a stage, you guys. <laughs> Look at how these statues are so perfectly placed so it looks like we're at a concert. Are you kidding me? And I'm not sure if I knew that you could customize the light bulb color in those big stadium lights, but how freaking cool. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. Now, before we fully continue and go to the right, I am going to backtrack because I know I missed an area. How do I, let's see, how do I get there? That's the thing I love about when people have custom maps made and they label certain areas. It's so helpful. Oh, <gasps> big Furby. Really, really long Furby is right here. Okay. <gasps> it must be this way. <laughs> These codes are so good. I can't get over it. There's Furby face again. And then, oh, wait, what does this Mario pipe go to? I guess. I guess we'll find out. Uh-oh. Now, on the map, this area is labeled Froggy Chair Sacrifice. So I guess, you know, we'll, uh, we're gonna we're gonna volunteer. We will be the sacrificial um, resident. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Shut up, and this is where it takes us. <laughs> to be eaten by the Plaza Toys. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking funny. And I don't think you can actually get out here either. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, I was just laughing at those Plaza Inflatables. And of course, lo and behold, that's how we are sacrificed. <laughs> to the froggy chair gods. Wow. Absolutely wow. Okay, now onward. Let's go Raven again. This is hilarious. Can't get over that. <laughs> and here we go back to the carnival. And I believe to the right is where we should go. Oh wait, there's a little bar over here I didn't even notice. How cute is that? And what is, is this a castle? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, so this is like a little girl's headquarters, which is so cool. Again, this flooring. And the way that the codes are just interchanged that way is so neat. So here we have an area. It looks like for the some of the girl villagers. A cool place to like do makeup, get ready. You have a little lounge over this way. And then this. Oh, I have been so excited to see this bridge. This is an ode to the one, the, the only. Any guesses? Any guesses? Ariana Grande, because one, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh one is behind the palm tree. Seven rings. Doesn't it look just like the music video if you've seen it? Oh, I saw a picture of it and I was just obsessed. This is so good. So, so good. I want it, I got it, man. And then of course, stacks on stacks of cash. You have your rings. Oh, and there's actually seven rings on this outfit right here. <laughs> it's just so good. It looks spot on to how the music video looks. Oh, and then here we are in the guys area. So we got a foosball table, a little gaming center. Oh, are you joking me? <laughs> You've, come on. <laughs> between that and 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 that oh wait no not the foosball table I'm talking about the Kleenex 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Angela. Don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I do love this, uh, the pool on top of this really cool code though too. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, wait, hold on. Is that why that computer screen is the way that it is? And the socks are where the socks are. And there's crumpled tissue. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Wait, what? What is, hold on. Oh my God. Do you guys know what this is? This is Tetris. This is so trippy. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's a giant Tetris board. Wait, what? What are these? Are those just the columns? What in the world? This is the wildest thing I think I've ever seen. Wow. Oh man, it is hard for me to pick favorites on island tours, but this is so cool. Whoa, how big does this go? That's what she said. You guys, I am just in one of those moods today. I am so sorry. Whoa, and then you have this cool land bridge as well, which I think connects back to where we were. This is, honestly, I know it's really trippy and cool, but this whole view with the glowing moss balloons behind it is actually just beautiful. <laughs> like, imagine that on like a fairy core island. So pretty. Yeah, and it all connects back that way. This is wild. This island is wild, but I think the giant Tetris, I mean, come on. So crazy. Well, I guess we will follow suit and go down here in which the incline is telling us to go. So here we have our campsite, of course, complete with what looks to be a really cool jungle gym. Also, the way that these cube lights have been uh, customized looks really, really neat. And again, perfectly trippy. And over here, oh, this is where the cloud, <laughs> cloud in the sky, <laughs> house in the sky area is that we saw earlier, but you can really get the full immersive experience like that. So cool. Look at those unicorns. I absolutely love it. Okay, now I was intrigued as to what is over here. Also, here's Abel Sisters. Might as well. Oh my God, the unicorn in the tube. So here's Abel sisters over here. Oh wait, okay, I guess I can't get there that way. So we'll go around. Let's go through the campsite because look at, look at all of these blocks. I've got to see what that's all about. But check out this huge jungle gym. I, there have to be more codes on this island than, than possible. There are so many. This is so crazy. And then over here, what? Look at this pool. This is fun. <gasps> Stop. Marshall's munchies. <laughs> <laughs> you have the snacks, you've got some cookies, you have your vending machines here. Oh my gosh, so freaking perfect. And not to mention you have this really cool pool as well with the pink water. Absolutely amazing. Whoa, and this, what is this? Hold on. Bongs by Bob. <laughs> we have Marshall's Munchies, Bob's by Bong. Wait, <laughs> Bong's by Bob. 
Oh, wow. So good. And then, of course, you have the little dropped weed over there. Oh, it's just so perfect. All of the incense burners around, too. You guys, this is so, so good. And before, well, let's go ahead and go up this way and then we'll continue down there because it looks like we have some more storefronts to explore. But up here, it looks like that whole cafe area is kind of extended. This is fun. You know what this, uh, it reminds me almost <laughs> of Disneyland. I know that's so far removed from really what this island is about, but something about it is giving me, uh, like not fantasy, is it fantasy world? Tomorrow world? <gasps> what? Whoa, oh my gosh. This is crazy. You have Godzilla and the robot fighting. This is so cool. Definitely getting all of the steampunk, cyberpunk, not steampunk, cyberpunk. Oh, you guys, I'm just on one today, like I said. Kind of inspiration here. This is so cool. Who am I cheering on? I'm gonna go for Godzilla. Yeah. Go Godzilla. Now that, that's a cool hallucination right there. Oh, and back here we have a little grocery store. Okay, cute, cute. Maybe an extension of uh, Marshall's Munchies. Oh my gosh, stop. Having this specific gyroid <laughs> in this case. <laughs> That is perfect. Actually, that gyroid really does look like a bong. I never noticed it until now. There you go. Courtesy of Bob's Bongs. <laughs> okay. Now through these stores to these area. This is actually so pretty. Um, this is gorgeous. All trippiness aside, having the mermaid bed turned backwards that way and using it more of a backdrop is a genius. Oh, what is over here? Shrooms. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments which of these custom codes is your favorite because I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to pick one. That, that's not true, I love the Furby. I take it back, I love the Furby. Angela, I'm gonna ignore your peninsula. <laughs> and here we are at the museum. Yeah, I wanna see what this museum entrance is all about. Uh, perfectly trippy and perfect with this giant bear. And then what's the, whoa, this picture frame is actually kind of wild. Whoa, we have we seen this border yet? Cause it is kind of crazy. Whoa. Whoa, this is actually wild. Hold on. So if I lay down here, doesn't this look so cool? Huh. Crazy. Hello, jitters. <laughs> oh, and here we are at the true mad tea party. You can see the Cheshire cat back there, the white rabbit. Whoa. The true mad tea party. Look at Luna like slowly creeping in the back. Do you see her back there? Judging me? It's okay, Luna. I feel like Luna would be uh, down with hallucinogens, honestly. And then, Whoa, this takes you to Nook's Cranny. This is the craziest Nook's Cranny entrance I have ever seen. Look at that. That is so much fun. People should use more Mario car carts, more Mario coins on their island uh, so people can run through them. It's so much fun. Highly suggest 10 out of 10. And then here is the front of Abel's. 
whoa, with all of the things in these, I forgot what this item's called, the scientific tube? I don't even know. But you can place things inside of them, which is just crazy. Wow, and there we are at Abel's. What an island, you guys. Oh my goodness. I still cannot get over the giant Tetris board. Are you kidding? That is crazy. I mean, this whole island is absolutely wild and easily one of the most creative islands I've seen. I'm sure everyone here can agree. Wow. You guys, go give Angela some love. If you want to visit this island, again, make sure to go check out her Instagram. That's where you're going to find the dream address and all that good stuff. Wow. Well, what a Friday, am I right? How absolutely cool is this? I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour as much as I had fun touring it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys could tell. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome day wherever you are in this big old world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.